Question, can you have too many griddles? We don't think so, and today we're gonna add to our arsenal. That's right, we are unboxing the Pit Boss Deluxe 4 Burner Griddle. You wanna see this new goodie we got here? You know we love unboxings. Stick around while we dig in. Today is a very special day for me, for us, for the Wall Twins. It has been just over a year since we've cooked on a steel top unit. Not since we started cooking on the Pit Boss Ultimate and Sierra griddles have we taken the opportunity on film to cook on a steel unit. And so I got the beautiful four burner and I can't wait to show this one off. This is the 757 GD. And I will tell you, I think that just stands for griddle deluxe. This would be considered like a 36 inch unit it is a little bit larger than that, but you know what? I could talk about it or we could just dig in. There's not a lot to this build, so we're gonna get right into it. I'll give you the dimensions. We'll take a look and walk around this unboxing. I'll give my first impressions. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so first things first, let's dig right on into this. We'll get to the paperwork and I'll explain a little bit about what we are looking at. She's pretty. Well, there it is in all its glory, like we like to say. And I've got to say, there's some things that really impress me about this unit. So we've had the Ultimate Griddle and the Sierra Griddle for a long time, and Pit Boss just makes the most beautiful units. We love the ceramic. This unit is a little bit more plain looking. It's, it's more standard, what you would see with the standard outdoor steel griddle. That said, it impresses so much. This thing is massive. The 37 and a half inches by 20 and a half inches deep, I believe give this the largest four burner cooking service of any of the griddles that are out there. These huge folding shelves that I absolutely love. I was really impressed. First of all, just the whole idea that you always have a permanent uh, hood, uh, a cover for that, I think is totally awesome. Uh, also, just how big these side shelves become. Of course, we'll have to be, be careful getting close to the side there, but uh, super impressed with it overall. Love the design, and I'm interested to do a little bit more. We'll be doing a an initial burn off and seasoning in the next video. This was really, I just wanted to open this up and give my first impressions. Some of my greatest impressions are this. This is by far the easiest outdoor griddle grill, anything that I've put together, and I've put together a ton of them. From smokers to grills, to griddles, to more griddles, to more smokers, to more grills. And of everything I've ever put together, not only was this, easier and took less time, it was substantially easier and took substantially less time. Total time on my iPhone recording from the second angle, literally start to stop, was just under 25 minutes. That included starting the phone, making sure it was set up, getting the right angle, and then putting this together. In total, there were, let me do my math, 14 screws. There were six bolts, I guess we'll call them, the hand tightening bolts, two to secure the, the bottom shelf on, which by the way, I appreciate the height of that shelf. It sits up just a little bit more, but gives me plenty of storage space down there. I do like that. And then an additional hand, hand bolt for each of the legs to hold it together because it is collapsible, so it is transportable. I will say it's also awesomely light. In total, with the griddle surface on, with the steel plate, you're looking at 107 pounds total, by far the lightest of the griddles that we've seen. And taking the, the plate out, it felt lighter than some of the other ones. It is 4.5 millimeter steel. Now, a couple of key takeaways also. It comes pre-seasoned with some organic oil. That said, I will do a seasoning process on it to really get it a good slick surface and coating to also help with the protection. And it comes with one of the best warranties, a five-year 
warranty on this griddle. Each burner turns it turns on individually. I got each of them. Each one took two turns. Now, one thing that I will be interested to see because with the Ultimate griddle and with the Sierra griddle, the, the curved tube on the far left side, it doesn't get as hot, which if you're into griddle cooking, you know, you learn your zones and you work with your zones. It still gets hot enough to cook anything on it. It just won't get screaming hot like the right side. And I'm interested to see when I do the seasoning process, if I see the same pattern, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I will, just my experience with the Pit Boss units. Like I said, it's a little bit more plain looking than some of the other ones, my first impression, but I kept looking at the size, how deep it is, how much cooking surface I actually have. I really can't wait to get into it. I've got a cook plan for today. So as you know, we come and we fill multiple cooks. So right now I just wanted to do the unboxing, give my first impressions, overall walkthrough, let you see kind of what I'm seeing for the first time. The next video will be the seasoning video where we'll all get in. I've got some flaxseed oil because it is here in Central Florida where the humidity really breaks down those the uh, cooking surfaces when we use regular vegetable oil. So I like to use flaxseed oil for seasoning. So we'll do a seasoning video, the first burn off and the seasoning. And then after that, I've got a cook for later today. That will be the third video and I can't wait to do my first cook on this. The first time on a steel unit in over a year on the Wall Twins channel. So many people have asked, how does the ceramic compare to uh, cast iron, rolled steel, any of that? We want to finally show you. What's the intent with this? Brett and I decided we wanted to show time and time again, the differences, compar comparisons, and also how much griddle cooking is, well, for the love of griddle cooking. We love to griddle cook. It almost doesn't matter the surface. So we can't wait to crank some cooks out on this. More to come on the, on the Ultimate. In fact, you can see the Ultimate 5 burner on the side. I've got the Sierra over here. Of course, we've got the smokers, the Laredo, the vertical over there. In fact, we're doing a vertical cook later on tonight. Be on the lookout for that cook. Uh, just one more to add to the family. The ceramic coated, the ultimate griddle isn't going anywhere. In fact, we've got some more cooks planned this week uh, that we'll have on that. Again, we're going to use them kind of back and forth, show some of the differences, some of the things we love. And I'll try to be really open and transparent about some of the things that might bother me or some of the things maybe that I'm not liking as much about it along the way. Got some new utensils, some metal utensils, because it's been a while since I've used them on the griddle with the ceramic, which to me wasn't that big of a deal. That said, you know, it's fun to clank those things around. So we'll get into that as well. If you have any questions, for sure, put those in the comments below. This is always a growing and learning opportunity for us, and we like to learn and grow with you. And we are super excited to show this unit to you. Oh yeah, so one other thing I just wanna point out, it seems commonplace with these Pit Boss units, so I seem to overlook it. Four burners with 62,000 BTUs total. So that is about 15 and a half thousand BTUs per, per burner. I don't even know what that means. I just know that that is a lot of heat coming out of each of those. Now, I think that's why that th or that final burner may not get as hot because it is U-shaped. And so there's more, there's more area to traverse, more area to travel for the heat on that one. But ultimately it comes down to griddle cooking and our love for it. If you enjoyed this video, if you like seeing these unboxings and seeing new products, especially in our hands and can't wait to see what we're gonna do with it, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by ordering one of our two new cookbooks. One that was released just this past December, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook, which is found on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Really love that this one is out there and are blown away with how many people have purchased this. We are so happy and honored. Also, don't forget to check out Smashed, our latest cookbook that we'll be releasing this May. We can't wait to share that one with you and all those cooks. Be doing a lot of those cooks on here. I'm gonna go ahead and face the elephant in the room. Brett and I got really used to cooking on low temperatures on the ceramic ultimate griddles, and sometimes the sear on our Smashed burgers wasn't as good. We've perfected it. We've gotten it down where it's good. I've always told Brett, I'm pretty sure though, it's still easier to get it on these steel units which is fine. By the way, I asked for this unit from Pit Boss before we saw their new tabletop steel unit, which looks just like the Ultimate Griddles. So I will be asking for those. So look for a lot of new goodies coming to the Wall Twins channel from Pit Boss. We cannot wait to share everything with you. We are super excited. We know Pit Boss is excited and we're happy to show you all of the goodies here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up and get up out of here. I'm gonna prep and get everything ready for the burn off. So with that, I bid you adieu and to don't forget to like and subscribe and griddle on.